Welcome back to Gimme Five with Jones and Eli. Eli, you get a letter from Hogwarts tomorrow saying that you're a wizard. What's the first thing you're doing? Probably celebrating at first. <laughs> yeah. Probably going out with the boys, uh, maybe buying everybody a couple things. I'm using muggle money, obviously. I don't have a bank account. Problem with me is that I don't know any wizards. Uh huh. So what you, do I do? Do I post on the Hogwarts Freshers Instagram account? You gotta, you gotta like, join, the, make friends? join the Facebook group, yeah. You think there is one? They're probably for wizards, yeah. It would just be such a shock. I think I'd be so excited, but also kind of scared. I would think it was a prank, mm -hmm. right? Like if I got a letter in the mail from a Hogwarts, I would think, oh, they're doing some marketing for Harry Potter 10. Mm -hmm. Right. No, exactly. I don't know how you would prove that it's real. Would you have some way to show your power initially? Like, oh my gosh, like I can... Well, I definitely could talk to like, snakes. Do they throw a wand in there? Oh, if they if it's a fucking goodie bag that they bring right. me, they give me a wand, they give me an owl, they give me some robes, I'm I'm having a great time. But you haven't accepted your offer yet. You don't get oh, all that stuff. I accept. Right. I accept. Oh, okay, he accepted. Uh, so he's in. Yeah, dude, I, I think I'm, I'm telling everybody. I'm flexing it. I'm not hiding that I'm a wizard. You think? I'm putting it on my in my IG that, profile. But that goes Jonah Barbin at wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Washington Wizards tag in the back. Yeah, exactly. The problem with that Bradley though Beal. Is, is Hogwarts doesn't allow for that. There's a whole ministry of secrecy and muggle affairs and all this shit. And like, they go through extraordinary lengths to cover up the fact that wizards are real. So if you become a wizard and you start flouting it, like they're coming, you're getting snowed in. But they're exiling you. But don't you think in this modern day now with social media that there is a woge of wizards like? Woe drops breaking. What do you mean woe? Woe Adrian Wojnarowski Wodrun, oh, oh. who breaks the bombs for the NBA, like you know Woj bomb. Like Jonah Barbin just got a letter that he's a hashtag wizard. Like you think somebody's tweeting on Wizard Twitter, like breaking news? Or just, and Jonah Barbin's been traded to the Wizards for two future first rounders. No, I don't think that exists. Um, I think it does. It could exist. I mean, I think the whole thing is. This is my whole point. Is like there's definitely a Facebook for wizards. There's an Instagram for wizards. There's all this shit for wizards in the social media age. Sure. I just don't know how you would get access to it. Maybe it comes in your letter. They're like, here's the Wi-Fi password. Well, no, it's one of those things. You have to request access, and you're on the list. So then, like, the admin, like, like at, at Albus Dumbledore would let me in. It's so, it's so, the, the, maybe you got to get a better system than Owl Man. Right. Because if you have just a quick question, mm -hmm. what do you got a one-word question? What if he's like, yo, Harry, or yo, Jones, like, you're in. Uh-huh. Let us know if you have any questions. Oh, and I want to ask I got a question. It'll arrive plan. in three business days. Right, I gotta send it. And then it. they'll go back to him. He's gotta. He's never there. He's out fighting some of the mentors. He's gotta write the whole thing. He's gotta send it back to you. Oh, so oh, three months oh, you're get. comical. Oh, you think Dumbledore is gonna be the one responding to my meal plan? Oh yeah, yeah, no, it's probably. Oh no, it's some, some intern. It's like McGonagall's <laughs> third intern, like scrubbing the floors and work and responding <laughs> to me. Dumbledore's not even gonna know who I am. Being a Hogwarts intern must be pretty awesome. What do you think you do? You just like. Fuck around with the no, staircases? No, it's not great because sometimes you'll be in the bathroom and you like fall into the chamber of secrets <laughs> and then the basilisk is suddenly on your ass. So I think it, it has its pros and cons. It is not great. You're just, just trying to chill with the boys, hang out, and all of a sudden you got some soul-sucking demons pulling up on you trying to trying to murder you. Right. They would probably have to give the interns some type of like defense mechanism, right? They should make the interns like just wizards who never really panned out. Well, that's kind of what Filch is, right? Was Filch a wizard? Well, he's a squib. He, he, What's a squid? He, his parent is the opposite of a of a a muggle, no, of a, of a mudblood. It's, he has his parents are both wizards, wizards, but he doesn't have wizarding powers. So wow. he's in, born into the wizarding community. He knows about all the wizards. We're getting a little technical. No, I, I I'm learning here. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm a big Harry Potter guy. Not your, as big as Madagascar. Well, no, no, obviously, <laughs> obviously not. What's your favorite Harry Potter spell? To say or to, to just that what it does? I think like it has to be an aggregate of both. Like it has to be fun to say, but it also has to have some use to it. Uh, I would say... What's the one with the spirit animal? The Expecto Patronum? Yeah, I'm, I'm a big Expecto guy. Yeah, EP? Yeah. What would your Patronus be? I think it would be a, a Chupacabra. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Isn't that a sauce? No, no, that's Cholula. Oh, that's chimichurri. Or, yeah, it's a lot of chimichurri. <laughs> a lot of chuchas, but yeah, a chupacabra. 
It's like what a, is that? I think it's like an insect or, or perhaps like an I mean, ant eater type. Spirit, yeah, animal, yeah, let's uh, let's, let's get our producer. Producer Omar, look what up what a chupacabra yeah, is. Yeah, I just want to see what it is. We can get it. If a, you don't even know what it is, how could it be your because a chupacabra is a legendary creature? Legendary. Looks like a dog. It looks like a dog. Oh, see, it's there we a go. Goat. <laughs> it's a goat that looks like a dog, and it's you know, a dog the, goat. It's, it's a dog. Goat. I mean, that's literally my two favorite animals: the dog and the goat. You know, if I if 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 somebody said Jonah, describe yourself in two animals, I'd say I'm a dog and I'm a goat. Is there any animals out there that looks like a mix between a tiger and a dolphin? Because those would be my two favorite animals. <laughs> if you get a tiger, dolphin, maybe the seahorse. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Or a cut, oh, catfish. A catfish kind of looks it's like a cat. It. And a fish. And a fish. And right. people also often say I'm a catfish, so. Yeah, I, I have heard people say that. <laughs> um, only your Tinder matches, yeah. This has been Give Me Five with Jones and Eli. A reminder to follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Subscribe on YouTube. Leave a comment. We want to hear about your pod topics and do and them your lives. right here on the spot and your lives. Just tell us how you're doing. Eli, thanks for talking. It was a pleasure, Jones. Talk to you soon.